hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome if you are returning welcome back and thank you for coming back today we are going to make pineapple juice so healthy and so easy i can't even begin to explain the benefit of pineapple but it's full of vitamin c and so are lemons and you know ginger is very 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 good and healthy so all in all this is a healthy drink so i begin with uh, uh, washing my ingredients it's just three ingredients plus water and a little bit of sugar how easy is that so i scrub my ginger and my pineapple and my lemon and i'm gonna go ahead and just cut up the pineapple and this here is kind of like the peel i peel it and there was a little bit of black spot that i cut out and i'm putting it in the pot because i'm going to boil it with a little bit of sugar to make a syrup that i'm going to use for a little sweetener so some people cut up or put in the whole peel of the pineapple but because my pineapple was a little bit old so i kind of like cut off the the first peel and then just cook the one that had a lot of dark spot but if your pineapple is new and fresh and all that you can wash it really well and then just uh, boil the whole peel and stuff like that just to make a little bit of syrup for your sweetener so I cut up my pineapple finished and in this container I already had a little bit of pineapple left from another pineapple because I really love pineapple and I'm um, kind of like picking out the one that the ones that had white spot and then the cleanest I'm putting in this container for my smoothies. The one that are in the green container is the one that I'm going to use for my juice. And then I'm just scrubbing my uh, ginger. I'm using the back of the knife because I don't like to cut by uh, by peeling, I don't like to cut because I feel like I'm wasting, so I scrub with the back of the knife. But you can peel however you like, and then just rinse it through, and then cut it up. Um, and that is what I'm doing. I'm cutting it in small pieces because I think it will blend easier, but you don't really have to because ginger is soft. And if you have a powerful blender, you don't need to cut it as small as I am doing but I just like to do that. And then I'll put it in the blender and add a little bit of water and blend it a little bit first. That is not necessary, but I just wanted to make sure that it blends through. And now I am squeezing my lemon. I use one large and a little half but in the end the lemon was very strong in there so i would have been good just using one but i went ahead and used the other half uh, the half of this other lemon but you need only one because this lemon was really big so now i'm just gonna blend this ginger a little bit before i add the pineapple Put a little bit of water and blend. Not a good idea. <laughs> so I have to break it down. But yeah. So another tip, um, I think this is about two cups, maybe two and a half cups of pineapple. But another tip is maybe to not put all of it in at once, uh, just for easy blending. But it blended quite good because pineapple is full of water, but I just, just in case, because I had a little bit of overflow from the top. So um, it will be safe and cleaner to just put a little bit. So here is my peels that, are bo uh, that I boiled. As you can see them steaming and I'm just going to strain them here and then put them aside to cool down 
before you can add your juice it looked like i did it right away but i set it apart to cool you don't want to add it hot because you don't want to cook your juice you know when when the when your syrup is is warm and hot so let it cool down and i'm straining it through this uh, strainer it is a little bit how do you call it it has big hole it's not very tight but I, I didn't mind because I was going to uh, put it through a tight strainer again. But you can do the pulp is okay. It's even okay to drink. But I just didn't want it pulpy. And then I'm putting the pulp back in the blender and adding a little bit of water so I can just have all the goodness out. <laughs> yeah. But you don't have to but I just like to use every bit of my ingredients. Pineapple is not cheap, so I wanna use all of it. And then I was done with straining. I just put it through my, my cheesecloth here and it squeezes easier than going in the strainer and pressing it down. It was a little bit of too much work for me, so I went for the easy option and that is my cloth here where I can just squeeze it out and I am sorry guys in this video I just realized that I didn't show you what I did with lemon juice that is in my juicer my lemon juicer right there I just went ahead and put it in the bowl there is nothing special to do with it just go ahead and mix it with your pineapple juice and that's what I did and then this is what came out when I strained for the second time with a little bit of a tighter strainer. And your juice is done. Look how pretty it is. It is filled with goodness. This is a good drink. It is uh, a good, good immune boost, booster for you guys and for me. And all, all in all, it's a healthy drink. You know exactly what is in your juice and you made it yourself and especially if your pineapple is kind of going bad a little bit and you are not inspired on how to use it you can just juice it up that's what i do with all my fruits now since i started juicing so there it is guys how pretty is that and let's have a taste it was really good i can tell you that a little bit strong from the lemons but it was good so cheers guys and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and help me share this video. Bye and see you later.